Throughout the history of Fortnite, hundreds if not thousands of changes have been made to the game. From weapons changes to the addition of planes, Fortnite has been quite unpredictable over the years and what they elect to add not only add to casual playlists, but competitive play. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. But your crunch saw me where you at your motivation guy. Yeah, that's right, I am back. Surely this is going to be about the railgun or caddy launcher, right? Well, you're wrong. For this weapon, we're going to need to hop into the Fortnite time machine and go back all the way to December of 2018. Well, did you guys guess it? Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to the weapon that Fortnite will forever regret, the Infinity Blade. Let's get one thing straight. Epic Games have introduced a lot of weapons that are unbalanced or simply overpowered. But let's be honest, the Infinity Blade was not only both unbalanced and overpowered, Epic Games allowed this weapon to be used in a major tournament, which made the addition of this weapon 10 times worse. Without a doubt, this is one of the worst weapons Epic Games could have added to Fortnite. But in order to truly understand why it is the weapon they will forever regret, we need some background information. For those of you that are into competitive Fortnite, or you probably remember this tournament. For many of us, this might have been one of the first tournaments that introduced us to the competitive Fortnite scene. This tournament was Winter Royale 2018, a tournament many of us were super excited about. During this time, competitive Fortnite was just starting to pick up. The summer skirmish had just happened during the course of that summer with the week 8 finals happening in September 2018. From here, we witnessed the first non-invited only tournament. The fall skirmish take place in both September and October, being one of, if not the first open qualifier competitive Fortnite had ever seen. So with all the hype around competitive Fortnite, after this player Morgaus won one of the first major Fortnite tournaments, the hype around Winter Royale was truly unmatched. Winter Royale started off with open qualifiers that took place over the weekend of November 24th and 25th. As we mentioned, the hype around this event was absolutely insane. When I tell you everybody was playing in this event, I mean everybody, man. With only 200 total players making it to the finals of Winter Royale, this event was a grind with multiple sessions on both the 24th and 25th. After the qualifiers were over, this hype didn't stop. There were players like Tifu who qualified, which were a surprise to nobody. On the other hand, there were other players that qualified that no one had ever heard of. This was an event full of both Fortnite superstars and nobody amateur players, which made it super exciting. As the anticipation for the Winter Royale Finals kept building, Patch V7.01 brought all the hype almost to a complete halt. This patch not only brought in the most controversial weapon that the competitive Fortnite community had ever seen, but was also one of the worst decisions that Epic Games has made to date. At this point, you probably guessed it, Patch V7.01 was the patch that brought the infamous Infinity Blade to the world of competitive Fortnite. The question is, why is this the weapon they will forever regret? So I get a lot of DMs on my Instagram all the time that you know, you've tried everything but you're still not getting better. Alright guys, well let me say this, I highly recommend Pro Guides professional one-on-one -on -one coaching tailored to help you guys get better at whatever area you guys want to in Fortnite. You know, our coaches are some of the top players in the world, trained to help you guys progress as quickly as possible. All right, so check out the top right of this video or the link down below to get started. So now what? Right before the top 200 players are about to compete at one of the biggest open qualifier tournaments to date, Epic Games decides to completely change the playing field. The semifinals and finals of Winter Royale 2018 would take place on December 11th and 12th. On the day of December 11th, when all 200 players woke up and mentally just prepared for what was the biggest event not just in their Fortnite careers, but in their esports careers, Epic Games put Fortnite on patch V7.01. In this patch, only one weapon or item change was made, and that was the addition to the Infinity Blade. Could you guys imagine getting ready for the biggest tournament of your life, <laughs> and the next thing you know, that you're basically playing a completely different game than the one that you qualified for this event on? Not only did they change the playing field, but the Infinity Blade was so overpowered that it made whoever had it have a huge advantage over every other player. The Infinity Blade was placed at the top of Polar Peak and was insanely overpowered. When a player picked it up, they would receive 200 health and a 200 shield instantly. The Infinity Blade could destroy any structure with one hit and did 75 damage to player per hit. Are you guys kidding me? That just sounds overpowered for any player to use. Nonetheless, a top 200 player in North America. Wow. But wait, that's not all, man. The player using the Infinity Blade has their movement speed increased to 130% health regeneration of 1 HP per second and health gain upon elimination of 50 HP. Whew, 
All right, I don't know about you guys, but this weapon is simply ridiculous in theory, man. It is still crazy to think. Not only was this weapon implemented into Fortnite, but competitive Fortnite. It was time to start the Winter Royale semifinals, and surprisingly, when Game 1 started, the Infinity Blade was not super popular. In fact, the first game a player managed to grab the Infinity Blade essentially was uncontested. Although this may be surprising, okay, we have to consider that no player had any experience using the weapon prior to this event. It was literally added to the game during the morning patch. So this temporary uninterest in this weapon was definitely short-lived. <laughs> As semi-final patches continued, more and more players began to contest the sword. So for the first two matches of Heat 1, the Infinity Blade didn't have much effect on the game. In Game 3, uh, this would all change. A player named Nice, who had landed on the sword in other matches, started to pick up more and more eliminations with the weapon. He then proceeded to hop in an X4 Stormwing and flew around diving on people with the blade. As players with the Infinity Blade continued to get broadcasted on the official Fortnite livestream, absolutely dominating players, dropping 7 plus eliminations in match 3. The Infinity Blade quickly became the prized possession amongst all the players competing in Winter Royale. Nisa's performance in match 3 didn't go unnoticed by professional players Saw though. In match 4, Sam contested Polar Peak and managed to come out with the sword. Sam, known for his intelligence in the competitive Fortnite world obviously, went absolutely ballistic. If Nisa's performance with the Infinity Blade in match 3 didn't convince players of the value of this weapon, Sam terrorizing the entire map with it in match 4 definitely did that. Picking 12 eliminations and achieving a top 15 finish was eye-opening to the entire heat. The Infinity Blade true potential was broadcasted to not only everyone currently competing, but to every single player competing in the next heat as well. From here on out, the amount of risk players were willing to take to even have a shot at securing the Infinity Blade was astronomical, guys. The amount of players that contested Polar Peak in hope of grabbing an Infinity Blade increased on a game-by-game -game basis. So, as a surprise to nobody, unlike Heat 1, the players in Heat 2 began to heavily contest the Infinity Blade in their very first game of the Heat. Twitch Flossen managed to secure the Blade in Game 1 and walked away with the first victory out of Heat 2. This weapon, time and time again, was proving to be extremely overpowered and was guaranteeing qualification to anybody that managed to get their hands on it in the semifinals heats. Now it was time for finals, and the players' urge to get the Infinity Blade in their hands was only growing. So right off the bat, Polar Peak was being contested by over 10 people, some rushing to the Infinity Blade right out of the bus, and others trying to get a gun as fast as they could to wipe out all the other players in Polar Peak before anybody could escape with the blade. Similarly to the semifinal heats, the popularity of the Infinity Blade continued to grow the further they got into the finals. Okay, so after the conclusion of the Winter Royale, the competitive Fortnite community was enraged with Epic's decision to allow the Infinity Blade to be used in the tournament. Both professional and amateur players began immediately speaking about how absurd this weapon was. Epic began to get a ton of backlash for the decision to implement this weapon into the game the day of a major tournament. And so in the days following the event, hundreds, if not thousands of tweets and other social media posts began just flooding in with the same thing. How can you reasonably justify upholding a competitive integrity in a game if you're going to release a huge game-altering patch not a week before, not a day before, but the day of a major event? Whew, this was unheard of. This backlash did not go unheard, man. Like Following the backlash, Epic Games released a statement stating that in an effort to ensure the competitive integrity of Fortnite in the future, they would refrain from adding patches to the game immediately before events. Although this was good news for everybody, the trust in Epic Games to uphold competitive integrity has yet to be fully regained. Making the Infinity Blade the weapon edition Epic Games will forever regret. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today's video. You already know what to do if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel and connect with me on my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. I really believe in you guys and whatever is coming against you, you know, I just want to encourage you to keep going. Don't give up. And I want to just say this, like, if you don't believe in yourself, who else is going to believe in you? You're the first person that has to believe in yourself, all right? I, I really want you guys to succeed, not only in this game, but also in life. And it's going to take our effort. It's going to take our perseverance. It's going to take us to be relentless and to be stubborn and to never quit, even when times get rough. Trust me, I know about rough times. I really do. But I've had to keep going. I've had to stay positive. Do the same thing and you're going to reach your goals. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.